So the United States just announced new sanctions on China just yesterday. Let's get into the article. So this is an article from uh, Russia Today. It's entitled, U.S. Unveils New Sanctions on China. The subtitle is, The Restrictions comes, uh, Come Days After the Pentagon Brought Down a Suspected Chinese quote-unquote spy balloon. And so the United States announced new sanctions against China yesterday. The sanctions target six Chinese companies. Um, I did some digging and research and found that all six Chinese companies that are targeted for sanctions are either in the aerospace or aviation industry. And so um, the sanctions uh, move comes after a Chinese quote-unquote spy balloon, which I don't believe it was a spy balloon, um, was spotted and shot down in the U.S. airspace. The U.S. Commerce Department surprisingly issued a statement that said that the entities uh, were being blacklisted for supporting China's quote-unquote military modernization efforts. Remember that, uh, that, uh, that phrase, military modernization efforts, specifically those related to aerospace programs. Okay, first of all, I found it strange that the U.S. Commerce Department came forward and is involved in this instead of the Department of Defense, a.k.a. the War Department, or the State Department. It shows you how dangerous and involved the U.S. Commerce Department really is with its capitalist tentacles ready to appear if any nation doesn't strictly follow its cries. That's first of all. Second of all, of course China is going to modernize their military, including th their aerospace programs. The U.S. just passed a bill not not too long ago, and this is under a uh, this is under a Democrat administration, for the record, not a Republican one, uh, which shows you how both Democrats and Republicans are one and the same. There is no variety or difference in choice in U.S. politics. They're both one and the same. But they just passed a bill that gave the War Department uh, eight. Eight hundred and fifty-eight billion, with a B, to spend. Eight hundred and fifty-eight billion dollars to spend. This is Congress. They gave the War Department slash um, the Department of Defense eight hundred and fifty-eight billion dollars to spend. Um, and so it gave them eight hundred and fifty-eight billion dollars to spend, and yet they're over here crying about needing to sanction China's military and its modernization efforts. It makes no sense. Um, the sanctions slash restrictions will make it harder for the six Chinese entities. Again, they're all in the aerospace slash aviation industry um, to obtain U.S. technology. So these sixteen, I mean these six uh, Chinese entities, um, will make it damn near impossible uh, for them to access U.S. technologies. Again, all of this, the sanctions, uh, was allegedly due to the quote unquote spy balloon which I have to side with China on this one. Nearly every U.S. politician and all of the U.S. media outlets exploited this situation to puff up their chests and attack China. I mean, China does not have the same history. We need to remember this. China does not have the same history of violating the territory or airspace of nations that the U.S. shamefully does have uh, in the past and in the present. To this day, the United States does invade the territorial integrity and does violate the territorial integrity and the airspace of many nations. And the American people don't give a damn. They're not over here boycotting the U.S. government. They're not over here protesting it. And yet they're crying about the United... Uh, they're crying about China violating their own airspace and the territorial integrity of their own country. When your your country actually has a history, both past and present, of doing this. China doesn't. That's what I have to say about this um, story. Again, the uh, article is entitled, U.S. Unveils New Sanctions on China. This is from RT. Um, and the where I dug some research um, is uh, called U.S. Blacklists Six Chinese Entities involved in spy balloon programs that's from the new york times if you want to read further uh, about this uh, story 
Uh, but what do you guys think? Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Let me know what you think about this story. Um, if you're listening to this on the podcast, then tweet me. Let me know what you think about this story there. Take care.